What's up, what is do, 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 Crypto Muscle? Do, 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 coming to you with another YouTube video. So here we are, international now, worldwide syndicated. You know where this is at, right here. As I always do on the Crypto Muscle Network. And as you know, as I always do on the Crypto Muscle Legacy Channel here. For over the the last four years now all right literally almost four years of being on youtube and being a part of cash fx all right no one's been bringing to you what i've been bringing to you throughout all this time i've been in it all right I, you guys i told you guys my history with cash fx how i started my youtube channel originally with Cash of X as the center point, the foundation of my crypto journey uh, on YouTube, that is, because I started crypto before Cash of X and it was bad. <laughs> and so uh, Cash of X actually led me to the promised land because I was messing around with, with um, token platforms and arbitraging. And there's another one called uh, Nova Chain, not tech, but Nova Chain. Um, those were kind of like the final death, <laughs> uh, stake, all right, in, into me in crypto at the time. And I lost shit, at least $13,000, uh, when I was messing around with token platforms and it didn't let me to anything, all right? And so I had to kind of hit the reset button. And said, all right, I got to figure out what I got to do now. And so Cash of X came along the way. And I was like, all right, I think this could be something. And so that were, is where I began. I said, well, I want to do something different too. Because I'm tired of all these bullshitters on YouTube who led me down this path of, uh, you know, where I lost $13,000 from various token platforms. I said, I'm going to do my own shit. And I'll tell you guys how it is and and tell it like it is and this was what how i started my journey because i was tired of all the bullshit in the space and i and i show that shit to you guys all the time like those ball headed dildos right bullshitting in this space all the time about oh look how great these results are guys and let me track it on my spreadsheet what so you're going to track spreadsheet numbers but you don't get nothing tangible out of cash effects? So, you know, bullshit like that. And I was exposing all that shit on YouTube over the last four years now, right? Drove Tiwi out of here because he was so full of shit. And then one by one, all these YouTubers started falling off the face of the earth because they're garbage, call their shit out, and look, they got nothing to show for. And here I am today, still standing. You know why? Because I don't fuck around like that shit, you know? And, um, it's just, you know, it's funny how they're still trying to string you guys along with this cash of X thing. You know, this thing, think about it, people, it has not paid in over a year now. And now, April 1st, right? April Fool's Day, still not nothing going on. The joke's still on you guys. Still not paying, still not doing nothing. And think about it. This is the second quarter now. We're starting the second quarter of the year. April 1st. This is the second quarter. Think about it. Alright. Do you think that P2 garbage is going to do anything for you guys? Do you think it's going to take you to where you once were with these Academy Packs that they have phased out? Why, where is all the leaders, right? Where is the, not the leaders, the management of the company? Ron Pope has long been gone, right? I mean, the last two standing uh, was uh, Kinnear and Huascar. And because Ron Pope's been long gone. Shit, where is that Edwin dude at? You, you barely see him from the get-go because he was kind of like, the under the desk fan for Huascar, right? Get it? <laughs> under the desk. And, um, 
you know, from there, it was just a Huascar and Kinnear show, pretty much. Yeah, you have a little sideshow with Justin Holiday and Luigi Bruni. They were little sideshow acts. But they were just the big marketers, right? They kind of drove people to the platform. They have a reputation in the space. It's kind of like what Jan's doing right now. Jan Gregory's doing right now for existing platforms that are working out there right now, right? So you have little leeches like Marcos jumping on, hanging off Jan's nuts. So you have the, so Luigi Long left Cash FX, right? Because he got tired of waiting. He waited, he said, he, he waited eight months. And he said, man, I can't wait anymore. You know, I'm out of here, right? He's like, man, you you got me waiting for eight months. You, you're lucky I waited eight months is what he said, right? So that's true, though. He waited around a long time for that. And then Justin, man, he just completely disappeared off the face of the earth. You don't hear nothing about from him. And then uh, last year from him, he was talking about, you know, oh, he, he was going under the guise of religion. All right, Tom, oh, it's just a bump in the road, guys. God has plans for us. And he was just all religious and stuff. And I, I just don't like it when people tie religion into crypto because it's like oil and water, you know. And what are you going to do when things go bad? You're going to blame God? I mean, God can, does not control the destiny of crypto. And I hate to say that because it's just, it's just crypto is just so wild and crazy that that you cannot infuse religion into it. It's just so wrong, you know. And, oh, if things go bad, oh, that's just because God has plans for us, you know, and don't worry about it, you know, because if it didn't work out now, he has something else for us down the line. It's almost like you're using God as, as an excuse rather than a fact that, hey, it failed because there's no more money in the platform type of deal, right? It didn't fail because God failed. You know, you know, it's it's just that kind of thing. That's what bothers me. I've been seeing it with the Novatech, with Cynthia, and their little religious songs, and she's always talking about thanking God and stuff. And she don't give a shit about that shit. You know, and this is not her first walk in the park with platforms either. Everybody knows she has a past with other platforms. So, the writing's on the wall of Novatech, right? But that's a different video. The point of it is that, you know, this thing has been done a long time ago. And so, P2C, you're going to see, is not going to really do nothing for you guys. How can you get P2C to Academy Packs? Right? How can you get P2C to honor 100k academy packs to pay you out you know 2x of that right 200,000 how and this brings me back to did you think cash of x was ever going to honor you upgrading all those or compounding right compounding upgrading is the same thing do you think all that forced compounding and upgrading do you think cash effects was ever going to honor that now let's just say you have multiple 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 you know of people that did that very thing because they had no choice anyways right that they that cash effects is going to follow through and pay that from where out their ass so that's what you got to think about there for a second like where and that's the problem i'm i'm seeing with all these other people the dickheads out there in the space that continuously say compound, 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 upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. You know, every cent that you earn, whether it's forced or not, just compound everything. You're going to have that big payday later. Now, how does that feel right now, right? That cash effects that hasn't been doing that for you. And I've seen that in Final Mente. I've seen that in what mirror trading. And, uh, Mind Capital, if you want to name other platforms that done the same shit. Compound, 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 right? And what happens, man? They just eat you up alive. Suck that shit out of you. So, I don't know. I just want you guys to just think about it. Wake up, right? And so, 
Let's see here. Latest update over the past week of cash effects here. I mean, even this guy, who's all about cash effects, is talking about Vita Look and Daisy and all this stuff, right? And so, let's see here. Here's a bull and bear pay. In this site, to apply for a debit card, this is how the funds from CFX will be withdrawn for the time being. So you must do a KYC under the profile, wait for it to get approved, uh, resubmit if it was unsuccessful, then hang tight uh, while we wait for the next steps. Anyone whose documents are still analyzing mode and wait for approval, uh, it will be picked up by the system. Please be patient. <laughs> oh, man, how long have you got to wait for that shit? All right, I see you talking about Daisy. Bull and Bear Pay, upload documents, and pick one to submit for uh, continuing with the Bull and Bear Pay. All right, Vitalink, Vitalook. Yeah, I passed on Vitalook, by the way. So after the beta testing group gets their card, then they'll be sent out to everyone else. No timeline available. Stay tuned for details. Oh, man, no timeline available. That doesn't sound very promising, man. So that's the latest news on that. Hmm. Beta test group. Who can that be? I bet if anything, the beta test group, they're going to just trickle out a little bit of money to test and see if it works to get the hopes and dreams of people to come back. Be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And people get their cards. And the next thing you know, you're stuck in that same wheel again of going nowhere. And you think you're going to get that money paid to you, and you're not going to get that money paid to you. Because after over a year, all right, now think about it, a year, let's see, what, 15 months now of not getting paid of anything, that all of a sudden Cash Revex is going to say, okay, we're going to open up the doors, we're going to press that withdraw button, and you're going to be able to get what you want. No, it doesn't work that way. It won't happen that way. Your only hope is hanging on to this P2C garbage right now. And hoping. If anything comes out of that. But how is that going to even compare to the academy packs. That you were once doing. It doesn't. It just really doesn't. And so my message today is besides that update about the beta test group I mean that's funny because they were talking about this bull and bear pay card a year ago and they're barely doing beta testing now when they were trying to get everybody to KYC and sign up weren't they were weren't they doing beta testing before they signed up with these cards right I mean is that common sense right so I don't know it's just it's it's just odd but that's just how they play. They like to play on you guys, you know, and prey on on you guys, because you guys are just a bunch of just meat, and they're just feasting on you guys, and that's what it is here. So that's your latest update on Cash of X, right? Which is really not much of an update when you really think about it, because. Another day and another week goes by of really nothing coming out of this thing. No ball-headed dildos. No uh, Adam dumbass on autopilot trying to tell you how much he gets paid every week when he really doesn't get paid jack shit out of nothing. Trying to talk about $1,000 a day. And, he, and the great majority of that was coming out of cash of X and that yield notes bullshit. And then when you really look at what he was getting out of all that in a day, manifest that garbage. And he's trying to say, look, guys, look how much I'm making a month, right? Oh, and he's fucking garbage that he, you, you see how much he makes in a month. I can make that sometimes in a day, you know, and and it's just like he's trying to convince you. That how manifest works, but yet when you look at manifest, he has large deposit of money in there for it to get even that minute amount he gets a month. Yeah, so that's just garbage. <laughs> so that's the latest from Cash of X. Tune in next time 
and uh, I'll see you next one.